FDS yet. Okay, folks, um, let's look at prioritizing day two. So on Tuesday, I asked you to make a brain dump. And that was just like taking three minutes and writing down all this stuff that's in your mind. So whether it's an assignment or a to-do list or just worries that you have, dump it all out on the page. That's our starting point. Now, the second point in prioritizing is pri like breaking it down to prioritize it. So we looked at the Eisenhower method of, of seeing what needs to be done now, what needs to be done soon, and what can get moved aside, like somebody who can help me or somebody that I just like, something I need to drop to the bottom of my list. So um, in K-12, I have a link here to your Google Classroom page. These assignments are being done on Google Classroom because it is easier to fill the stuff in. So what you need to do is you can either go into Google Classroom directly or go in through K-12, that's fine. In fact, if you would go in through K-12 and double check that that link works, that would be great, thank you. Okay, so if you click on this link, it should open you up to this assignment page. Um, it says 126, my bad, I gotta retitle that, that's 120. I honestly, sometimes my brain switches sixes and nines. I don't know. Um, and so we've got two tasks here. I want you to prioritize the prioritizing one. So let's open up this prioritizing one. And what I have for you is I have created a little chart that has all of the assignments that we've done so far in English or the first half of the trimester okay so i included the two for today that makes nine assignments total i put the point values in here and the due date what i want you to do is you need to first figure out did you do these are they done so how do you know if they're done you need to check skyward um, and you need to check your mt3 okay um, the thing is, is you might have to change the way that you see your screen because we're, we're now in the second half of the trimester. And so you want to make sure that you're, you're, if you, I would really suggest you change it to T2. Okay. Um, that's another video that I'll show you how to do. So open up another tab, get into Skyward and pull this up so you can see whether or not if you have any points, that means you did it, yay. If you have a zero, that means you didn't do it and I don't have it. So you can, let's say I've got this done. Let's say you started out super strong. You're like, I got that done, done. Um, and then lamb, no, we didn't really do that. Maybe, maybe we did one lamb, uh, but we did interlopers. Okay, so let's say, this is an example. You have one, two, three, four, five assignments that you still need to finish. So step two is placing them in order of point value. So you have lamb, irony, lamb, plot, brain dump, And then this assignment is more points than that. So I'll just say prioritizing and then the calendar. So I would even recommend putting a little number with it so you can see um, which ones to do first. So my, the first way that you would want to do this is in order of point value. Then I would copy that list and paste it down here, organize them in terms of due date. I actually did that. Those are in terms of due date. Well, actually this one, this one needs to, we need to go down to here. And then as I'm doing this, organizing 
which ones do I think is the smallest or easiest? Oops, that one. Okay, um, so then which ones do you think are small the smallest, easiest? Which ones do you think are the hardest, most complex? Okay, so then you're going to see that you may have a different order of some of yours. I'm going to delete this because I don't know if it's going to affect yours or not. I'm going to delete my answers so that you can type yours. Um, but this is the step that might take you a minute is getting into Skyward um, and looking. I can I can show you how to change your your view. So if you can't see any of these, I can show you how to change that. Um, but this is how you're going to do this prioritizing. So I, we're looking at what about English class? We're looking at different ways to organize either by point value, by due date. Some people like doing the smallest assignment first. Some people like tackling the biggest assignment first. But this is going to set it up so that you can see what do you need to do um, in order to pass the class and be successful and not have to like take it again. Because guys, this is, this is a credit bearing class. If you don't pass it now, you're going to have to take it again at some point. And that might be summer school or that might be trimester three. I don't know. I don't know. But I want you to be successful. So this is what successful people do is they make a game plan. So I'm teaching you how to make that game plan. So once you have some practice with this, then you pop over um, and you look at this calendar. This is a calendar for you that I made. Um, this gives you a place to enter each of your tasks for all of your periods. So I would say take this last week, take this last week of February or of not February, <laughs> of January and put right down like what assignments were you given. Then this column on the side allows you to place them in an order that you feel is most appropriate. So if that means that you want to tackle, um, if that meant that you want to tackle um, your biggest ones first, your ones that are the most points, whatever, but that's there for you. I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that, my bad. So that's what these two assignments are designed for, is that looking at one class in particular and organizing your assignments in that one class and then starting that you take, I would say, two classes and fill just this last section out and fill it out with the, the assignments for English and fill it out with the assignments for one other class so that you can get started in February filling them out for all of your classes. That's my goal, um, is that I want to start doing some calendar checks. I would love to do that. Maybe I'll just sprinkle it in as extra credit. I haven't decided yet. Um, but that's how I, I want to see this assignment done. I'm going to have to fix that. My bad. Um, 